Nikuja huku nitimize ndoto yangu lakini nimefika nimepata si hivyo. Sasa naomba kama mtu anasikia hiki leo changu anisikize. Nani one? Juu penye nimefikia nimefika mwisho. Juu ni mambo nikiende tena kwa ofisi nitafanyiwa kitu yenye sija sitawaisa huko kwa maisha yangu. Sasa kuliko niende kwa ofisi anilipie anilipie tiketi yangu. Mimi niende Kenya vinya nilipia kutoka Kenya mpaka hapo kwake. Anilipie mimi siendi siendi kwa ofisi na sitasikia vitu nyone watu ofisi wanasema siwezi sia juu the first time walisema hivi nikanyamaza the second time nikanyamaza ini ya tatu wan expect nikaja ama nifanye nini ameniambia sasa nijilipie ticket nimemwambia basi wanipatie passport yangu mimi wanipeleke nijilipie ticket yangu nirudi Kenya analetea simu tena atiniongee na watu wa ofisi mimi siwezi ongea na watu wa ofisi nimekataa kabisa kabisa anilipie ticket kama hataki nilipie ticket anipie passport anipeleke mimi nijilipie nilipia tiketi yangu mimi nirudi Kenya that's all mimi sifanyi kazi tena kwa hii nyumba naambiwa ati nilikuja kufanya kazi miaka mbili ama nilikuja kufanya kazi for five months unaweza nipitie matesi nyenye napitia yote for you two years afadhali nilipia tiketi yangu ani anipatie passport yangu mimi nilipia tiketi nijiende nyumbani mimi sitaki maneno mengi hiyo ndio yomba langu watu mnaulizia hiyo video hiyo video ni post kama ni mimi i'm not the one ni best yangu anaitwa Gladys Cherono ndio mwenye anapitia hivyo nasikia saa hii ananiambia amefukuzwa kwa nyumba yako nje. Baba amekuja amefukuzwa kwa nje. So we don't know the way forward. Shida naongea akilia tu mwelewi the reason why wamekosana hivyo. Analia we don't know what to do. Tumejaribu kumweka huko hivyo kwa kama tayari uchafu. Kama hawaelewani I don't know ndio venye analia watu wanafikiria amechapwa aje chapwa ni the pain that she's going through but hope atasaidika guys kesi kama hizi ndio zenye zinafanya tuseme at least mpige kelele tuwekewe safety house siku kesi kama hizi sasa sasa ona huyu dem sasa sisi wenye tukape hivi kwa social media tutamsaidia aje hatuwezi enda kubisha kwa mwarabu Hatuwezi hatuwezi bishia Mwarabu tuseme atolewe akujinje not unless yeye mwenyewe apate hiyo energy kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba a step out ndio maybe sisi sasa tunazengilia kati tuone kama maybe atatumiwa taxi apelekwe mahali safe okay ndio sasa maybe kemboi wanaweza msaidia sasa hapa si ni kemboi tu ndo atamsaidia kutoka nje hiyo 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 nyumba sasa and then unasikia ati mdosi wake amemfukuza ako outside Imagine ufukuzi uko outside ujikute hauna credit hauna anything like hauna credit hauna hauna pesa sasa unaanzia wapi uko kwa streets na venye huko ni dangerous venye kuna cases za kidnapping zimekuwa mingi that's why tunasema mtua siwe sasa ndo unashughulikia mambo za watu wenye wako middle east mtua kindly tuwekewe safety houses kukitokea instance kama hii watu wenye wamekuwa deployed wako hapa hivi kwa ground wenye wanafanya kazi na hizo safety houses wataenda pale watachukua gari waende pale wachukue msichana wetu hapa hivi sasa ako at risk asipopata kemboi asipopata kemboi amsaidie akemboishwe sasa atakuwa ako illegal migrant obvious kama ako nje asipopata kemboi amsaidie mtoroshi what will happen to her akipatana na wanaume wa Pakistan wenye wako huko nje madrai spells zimewapiga watamfanyia nini size venye organ harvesting iko iko high watu wana kidnapiwa tu mtu anaenda missing kidogo kidogo unapatikana ako kwa hospitali alishakufa mwingine ako kwa mochari vitu zenye hazieleweki mahali kama hapa mtu anasaidika aje hiyo issue ya safety house by the way it is very serious ni kitu yenye inaweza saidia sana cases mingi sana kuna watu wengine wanakwanga unapata mse amefungiwa like anaitisha help but amefungiwa haizi saidika sasa jua hatuwezi yende huko Kenya na tuende tubomoe kwa nyumba ya Mwarabu tuingie hatuwezi trespass hatuwezi wengine hawana hata freedom ya movement yenye sasa hata utasema utatoka uende uokoe you get but sasa kukikuwa na watu wenye wameemployiwa tuseme si make hizo safety houses tuseme government yetu ya Kenya imeka safety houses ika employ watu wanafanya kwa hizo safety houses all right wale watu wakipigiwa simu ya stress kama hii at, at least tuseme kila city iko na safety house tuseme kama Jeddah wako na safety house Riyadh uh, Gasim yani hizo city 
kila city iko na safety house msiana akikuwa na stress kama yenye huyu msiana ako nayo apige simu kwa safety house at least watu wenye wameandikwa pale wanaweza chukua gari wakuje pale huko kwa huyo mwarabu si anaweza tuma location wakuje pale kwa huyo mwarabu wam rescue wampeleke kwa kwa safety house ndio waone kama watamchange maybe wampeleke ile kufanya kazi mali kwingine ama watamrudisha Kenya Cause obvious pale penye anafanya kazi safety yake it's not guaranteed that's why ako na stress hataki kukaa pale maybe wanamtesa according to the videos nyinyi mmemsikiza maybe mali penye yako hakai poa maybe wanamtesa vitu kama hizo you get so kukikuwa na hizo safety houses msichana atakuwa rescued apelekwe pale waone kama atarudishwa Kenya ama atatafutwa mbosi mwingine aende akafanye kazi huko sasa saa hizi hakuna safety house huyo mwarabu amemrusha kwa street and then what na hizi vitu kama hizi zinafanyikanga sana sana na new kamas. Huyu mtu huyu ni mtu mwenye hajakaa huko sana maybe, hana experience, ajui venye kwa ground kuko. Ukirusha hapo nje kwa hizo streets, alafu unaenda wapi sasa after that? Where are you supposed to go? Haujui mtu yeyote huku, haujui malipopote huku, maybe hata hana pesa. Unajua Arabu mtu ukikuwa mgeni wa kupatia ngi pesa cash ujeke. Wanakutumanishanga pesa zote Kenya. So maybe upate hana kasha hapo penye yako ati anazalipa taxi impeleke hata kwa police station sasa mtu kama huyo anasaidika aje na by the girls ukijikuta kwa station kama hiyo if you find yourself in a station like that one you need help and umepata chance ya kurecord video or post social media kindly and i normally say this in all my videos kindly kindly peana full details zako ndio sasa hata maybe mtu anaweza unajua kuna agency shu mingi zenye zinashughulikianga wasei huku si agencies zote mbaya wao angekuwa amepeana information za agency zake maybe we could have reached out to the agency hmm? sasa yeye okay wamejaribu kumadd kwa live ya kamati but she's crying hawaelewani they don't even get along at least mtu ukipata chance ya kurekodi ka video hata kama utakuwa umerekodi ukiwa nje hata mimi niko nje you tell us mimi niko mali fulani, ninaitwa fulani fulani, nilikuja nilikuja na agency inaitwa fulani fulani na ofisi yangu ya huku inaitwa fulani fulani. So that in case maybe after some minutes uende mteja. Haupatikani kwa simu. We know where to start from. In case maybe hautapatikana after some minutes, unajua tutaanzia wapi kutafuta. Sasa uki, ukikuja pale kwa, kwa screen record ukilia nataka kwenda nyumbani hatujui wewe mwenye unataka kwenda nyumbani unaitwaje umetoka wapi umekuja na agency gani kabla tukuje kupatana na mtu mwenye anakujua on a personal level bana masaa zitakuwa zimesonga ukipata info ukipata time ya kushoot video unataka kuitisha msaada au unasema in details zako zote niko mahali fulani ninaitwa fulani fulani nimekuja na agency naitwa fulani ofisi yangu ya huku Saudi Arabia ni fulani fulani ndio watu wakitaka kuingilia kati they know where to start if possible unaacha namba zako za simu na vitu kama hizo mtu anaweza kukupigia Unajua hata ukikuwa na namba ya Kenya tuseme hauna namba ya Saudi. Tunaweza kukupigia bado. We will buy you credit. Alafu tukue na credit then we call you. Simu itaenda through na tukommunicate. We know how to help you. Maybe unaweza kuwa ukishatupo huko nje ukose wifi na haujanunua line ya Saudi. Unaona? Okay guys. So I hope uh this video itafikia the right authorities and I hope uh, this girl will be helped. Arudi home akiwa sawa. Thank you for watching.